The Republic fleet must have got the message Karth sent as we were crashing onto that planet. Maybe we can use their arrival to our advantage. If Malik is distracted by the attack, we should be able to get in close enough to dock on the Starforge and hunt the Dark Lord down. This is Admiral Fawn Dodonna to the Abbot Hawk. Do you read us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Bastila Shan of the Jedi Order. We are receiving your transmission. It is good to hear your voice, Bastila. We had thought you were lost to us. Karth's transmission reported that Malik had taken you prisoner. The Jedi sent to rescue me from the Dark Lord did the job well, though I am sorry to report Karth did not survive the mission. His loss is a great blow to the Republic. We could have used him in this battle. We were about to pull back. We're taking heavy losses against the Starforge. Don't pull back, Admiral. You have to attack the Starforge now. Otherwise, the Sith will use its power to destroy the Republic. I'll try to press the attack, but we can't hold out much longer. Not unless you can use your battle meditation to turn the tide. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet under his command. Bastila's power could help you win this battle, Admiral. But it will mean nothing if Malak escapes. Destroying the Starforge is secondary to stopping the Sith threat once and for all. What are you proposing? The small squadron of Jedi Knights in snub fighters could penetrate the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. If they can find Malak, we can end the threat of the Sith forever. I'll order the fleet to press the attack and provide some cover for your fighters. And what if Bastila and her battle meditation? Bastila, you and the Padawan should join us. We will need the combined strength of our entire order to defeat Malak. As you wish, Master Vandar. And may the Force be with you. The fools. Even Master Vandar did not realize you've reclaimed your identity as the Dark Lord. The Jedi Strike Team and the Republic Forces will provide the perfect distraction as we hunt down your ex-apprentice. And once we have slain Malak, I can use my battle meditation and the power of the Starforge to crush the Republic fleet. All our enemies will be destroyed in a single glorious day. You made it. Several Jedi have already gone ahead into the Starforge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. We have to find Malak. A victory by the Republic fleet won't mean anything if the Dark Lord gets away. Come on, before they- Damn! So much for testing them unprepared. We'll deal with these ah! if you get into the Starforge and find Malak.
What? The Sith will want to cut off our escape. We'll stay here and protect the ship so we can get out of here. We don't want the Sith to cut off our escape route. We'll stay here and hold this donkey. A team of Jedi have penetrated our defenses. Their fighters have landed on the Starforge. This is not unexpected. The Jedi are formidable opponents. Send the Starforge's battle droids to deal with them. Lord Malak, forgive me, but how can mere droids be a match for the Jedi? You underestimate the power of the Starforge's droid army. Dispatch the droids. Of course, Lord Malak. The Jedi have invaded the Starforge. Destroy them. Destroy them all.
Stop them. Strange. I did not think there were any among the Order who could survive an attack by an army of the staff which is battle droids. It, it was Revan, Lord Malak. Your old master is with the Jedi here on the Starforge. Yes. That would explain why the droids failed. Revan was always strong in the Force. Very well. Send out all available troops, the apprentices as well. Think they can stop Revan, Lord Malak? Of course not. But they will slow Revan down. That will give me the time I need to fully prepare the Star Forge's defenses. I am curious to see the true extent of this space station's capabilities. One as powerful as my old master would make 